The eyedropper tool, Adobe's little enigma. Will it work, won't it? Oh, I'm in Illustrator. Is it gonna behave the same way it does in Photoshop? No. InDesign, no. Premiere Pro, no. It is a right pain in the ass. So when you're in Illustrator, here's a few pointers for you. The eyedropper tool, shortcut I, for eye, clever that, isn't it? is used to sample the color or sometimes the style of an object. What I mean by that is if your object has a fill and a stroke, it'll sample both and set it here in your fill stroke panel. Now you can double click on the eyedropper tool and change those settings to determine what the eyedropper tool picks up. So if you never want to pick up a stroke again, you can just turn it off here. The most efficient way to use the eyedropper to color other objects is to first click to sample your color, then hold down Alt to switch it to fill and then tap onto any object that you want to change. You can also click and drag with the eyedropper, which adds this little square to the cursor. What does that mean? Well, you can now sample from colors outside of the artboard, like the colors in your libraries panel, and not just outside the artboard, outside Illustrator, like this image in Google Chrome. One final bombshell, when you want to sample a color from an object with a fill and apply that color to a stroke, that annoyingly doesn't work, even if your stroke is on top in the fill stroke panel. So I'm going to give you two guesses as to which button to press to fix that. Hold shift as I click and drag and sample a color from anywhere and it'll apply it to my stroke only.